Hello, my dear students. This is Lina Abdullah, your IT teacher. Welcome you in our week number two in the entrepreneurial and image designing course. Let's find out what we have for this week and what we are going to cover during our second week. We will continue with digital imaging uh, module and we're still in section one imaging concept where we will talk today about the copyright where we you will understand the term copyright and recognize the implication for image use by end of the class you will be able to identify the term copyright and recognize again the implication of for you image use and we will talk about different terms related to the copy uh, copyright like royalty images in our second lesson, we'll start with section two and we'll talk about graphic format. What do you mean by graphic format? As you know, all the picture, they, all the picture they have different types. And these types are working under two main concepts, or let's say we will classify the images under two types, raster and vector graphics. So in today's lesson, you will recognize the graph different graphic format types and differentiate between raster and vector images where if you take just a look at the picture here you will see that the raster are let's say produced in a different way than the vector so if you get closer to the raster you will find that they are made up of pixels and if you try to zoom in the image you can easily uh, figure out the pixels which the, uh, the image is made up of. The other type which is vector is made up of curvy lines where the images where they have the same, let's say the same color, they are represented into curvy lines or circles to group all the color or let's say all of this part into one group. And in my opinion, I find uh, the vector images uh, more clear than the roster. And we'll discuss the two types in the class and we'll find out the differences between both of them. Then we'll start with color model. Color model is something also uh, tells us how the image color made up of what. We will have different color model. We will discuss each one of them in our lesson for today. We will identify the color model concept and explore the RGB and HSP color model. We'll find out each one of them stands for what and how we can combine or let's say get the color even by combining different colors or by editing the hue and saturation of, a, of an image. Of course, as usual, we'll talk about each one of them in details and uh, you will find in your PC page different activities will help you to create uh, a color from a group of RGB or group of HSV or HSP. Um, you will find the difference later on. Then we'll do, in our fourth lesson, we'll talk about the two another two color models which they are CMYK which is a stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, black a combination of colors will come from these four color uh, the, those four colors uh, and the gray color gray scale color which depends on increasing or decreasing the amount of white and the black inside the image so we'll identify the color model concept and explore the two color models CMYK and grayscale, as I mentioned before. By end of the week, we'll go over the color depth and palette. What do you mean by color depth and palette? Color depth and palette are two terms. You will find them in all image editing uh, softwares, where the color depth depends on how many pixels you are going to use to represent the color and more bits you are using more that you notice more the color will get it will be more clear and the color palette it's the combination or the number of colors you can generate using the color model you are using also you will find the color palette within your application 
and you can manage it by using different color model and even you can use it to set uh, a color for a shape or drawing object you are going to add to your image. My dear student, this was the introduction for week two in our course. I wish everything is clear and we'll go over all of that in details later on. Thank you.